All right, the bow is about to make contact with the seabed. And there we go. The bow is now rising out of the water. That is exactly what we want. <laughs> Alright, I am back in Stormworks, and today I am checking out another steamship. This is the Hurabel, or maybe the Harabel, not sure. It is a very cool looking steamship. It's relatively small, and should be a pretty quick sinking, knowing from what I know already about small ships and sinkings, at least in Stormworks. So yeah, let's get into this. Alright, so I'm gonna assume we have to go down below and start up the boilers. So let's do that. I will say that this ship is really detailed and it looks really nice. I mean, look at the uh, sort of shading on the walls here. That's actually really cool. All right, we got some bunks as well. So let's go around to the other side. All right, this takes us right back to the stairs. Oh, here we go, engine room. So we've got an engine near the aft of the room and then we have a boiler. So I guess we'll just turn on the boiler and it should start up. Let's check around for any more controls. Looks like we got a generator. And then we have the engine controls, so this is pretty straightforward. We've got a steam valve and then a reverse gear. It's always a little bit mesmerizing to see those reciprocating engines move. So let's go above. Alright, so let's climb up to the bridge. And there we are. Now as always, a download link will be in the description. So if you want to check this out, which I highly recommend you do, there will be a link down below. Now let's go ahead and let's throw in some waves and see if the ship can actually handle that. Alright, so here we go. Let's see what happens. We're bouncing around a little bit, but so far so good. Alright, so we're listing over a bit. We had some water on the deck, but the ship is not capsizing, so that is always a plus. Alright, so now I'm going to turn the bow into the waves. I mean, usually this is what you want to do, but turning could be difficult as you may get swamped by a massive wave like this one. But so far the ship has handled that. There we go. But now... Let's open up the cargo hatch at the front. Let's imagine the waves did damage that area and water was starting to pour in. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, here we go. So, um, there we are. Is it doing anything? Let's find out. The water doesn't seem to be pouring down into the ship. So maybe they're using a bug to their advantage? Looks like they might be because I don't see any seal on that door. I mean, if you think about that, that's kind of good. You don't want water flooding into your cargo hatch, so making it so that it doesn't happen is always a plus. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I've opened up this door to sort of simulate some sort of hatch breaking, and now this area is going to flood. So yeah, I am deliberately sinking the ship. I do know that. I'm not going to try to save this one. Maybe with the scuttle I'll try to save it, but for now we're just going to go down with the ship or, well, try to survive the sinking, but I'm not going to try to stop the sinking. We're sort of sinking like the Derbyshire, if you've ever seen what happened with that ship. Basically, the bow took on water through a couple of vents. Obviously, this is going to be a lot faster since, one, the ship is small, and two, there's a giant door open at the front. But basically, the bow filled with water, and then it just went down by the bow and the cargo holds imploded. In reality, we probably already would have seen implosions with those cargo holds because they're made out of wood, it looks like. At least the hatches are. And with those big waves, like that, yeah, I don't think they would be able to handle that. I mean, I'm not an expert with this, but I'm just assuming that that wood would cave in. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to turn off the waves now and see if the ship can actually handle just being in no waves or will it go straight down. Oh, oh gosh. Um... That's not good. I think the end is near. All right, so I turned off the waves, and that is not a good sign. As you can see, the ship is going vertical. Well, there it goes. It lived a good life, but now we're going to watch it go down, and then respawn it, and try the scuttle. All right, so here we go again, and this time around, I've added a couple NPCs, which uh, should make it a little more difficult, especially during the sinking, because, of course... I've got to rescue them before the ship goes down. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. So we've got a boiler explosion or a torpedo hit. That looks really cool. I want to try that. So let's go ahead and let's hit it. Oh, there it is, right there. That was so cool because it actually had an explosion that lifted the ship out of the water or it used rockets or something like that. Anyways, there it was, and let's go ahead and sail towards the island while also getting the passengers out because the ship is now sitting a lot lower in the water. All right, here we go. Let's drop on down. All right, please come with me. 
Please come with me. All right. Let's go. All right, good. They can walk up the stairs. That's a plus. Let's quickly look around for anybody else. Oh, my gosh. All right, so that's where the water is. So, realistically, if this is the only compartment flooding, are we good? I would assume so. At least with that door shut. All right, so here we go. Let's swing out the davit. Very nice. Let's lower it down. All right, looks good. Make sure to release this side first. There we go. And then, cut it free. All right, folks, here we go. We are about to beach the ship. All right, the bow is about to make contact with the seabed. And there we go. The bow is now rising out of the water. That is exactly what we want. And we're continuing to climb up. Oh my gosh. Some of that fish just spawned out of water. And we just ran it over. Oh, hey, look at that. It's the fish. And it's dead. Quite literally the only casualty as a result of... Well, I wouldn't really call this a disaster. This went pretty well. Now, let's try the boiler explosion, which probably is not going to go as well. Alright, so I've got the ship to about the same area where we started sinking last time. Now, let's activate the boiler explosion. Whoops. First, I gotta press 6 on the helm. There we go. And scuttle number 2, boiler explosion. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was certainly destructive. So, I should have thought of this. When the boiler explodes, we're gonna run out of steam. So there is no way I am going to be able to make it to land. So the lifeboat needs to be lowered fast. All right, so bad news. We're starting to list over to the uh, port side here, and we got to get these people out now, especially from this area. We're going to seal that door, too. All right, let's move. Let's go quick. All right, let's quickly bring these people up and then go back down. Let's uh, drop this down a little bit. Okay, so there we go. The boat is free. Let's go grab everybody else and try to get them out before this thing goes down. Oh, boy. This is not good. All right, we got a fire over there. Oh, my gosh. Nope, nope. Okay, yeah, there's water there. That is bad. All right, quick, go this way. Starting to take damage. Oh, my gosh, there's water pouring through the wall. Oh, hello, there he is. And drop this guy into the boat. There we go. All right, that's good. Oh, my gosh. This is very bad now. Surprisingly, the ship is taking quite a while to sink. I'm gonna go down here. Do we have water in this area? Oh, we have fire. No water, though. Can I find a med kit? No, there's no med kit over there. Let's go back up. I think we're starting to go down. And by go down, I think the stern is gone. Yes, it is. All right, jumping over. There we go. Oh, gosh, yeah, that boat's close to where the flames are. So there it goes. The deck is awash. The wheelhouse is flooding. And everything is on fire. It's gradually sinking towards the stern, which is interesting. Usually we'll see ships go really fast at the end, but this one is taking its time, mainly because all the exterior doors are shut other than the wheelhouse. And yep, there it goes. There goes a bit of steam from the funnel. The bow is coming out of the water. Well, barely. The mast is gone, and only the forecastle remains. And it is slowly descending to the bottom. That is actually really eerie to see sort of the flames glowing beneath the water well then if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and a comment and i'll see you all next time guys goodbye